Hello, I'm Jake, aka Hamstaff. Welcome to episode 2 of Jake Plays No Man's Sky Survival Series 9, where there is somebody I need to talk to. Uh, this gate here, Secret Keeper something or other. He's not quite loaded in yet. <coughs> Wait for him to saying all that. Ah, friend, you have arrived as scheduled. All the proper permits have been filed and exciting new tools await you. Joy, I have plans to update both base and exosuit. Where is your base sighted? What sort of hazard protection meets your needs? Radiation, definitely. Clever friend, may your home always be a sanctuary wherever you explore in the universe. Uh, salvage data, a blueprint for stuff, exo suit. I thought I said exo craft. Oh, there are exo craft blueprints. It's basically, cars you can drive on the planet. First of all, um, batteries. If you would please move. Yeah. So this radiation deflector. It works with that, so it drains slower on radioactive planets. But what I really need is it just to protect me outright for an amount of time. Why is that only room for 16 sodium nitrate in my ship? Oh, because it's rather quite full. Well, let's sell the gold. And oh, it wants me to return to my base. Yet yeah, not this episode. Right, mysterious books and pollen are probably worth a lot. But I'm going to hold on to them. It would help, however, to have a little bit more room in my exosuit. Honestly, this episode 2 feels like an episode 1. Uh, anything interesting here? No. Let's see, upgrade, what will it cost me? 100 grand. I can look at that. It's had a very odd noise. Well, unknown planet, unknown moon. Actually, any other moons in the solar system that I can see? I like the ring planet. Also, if I had a choice of just planets, I would go to the ring planet. But moons. Always win out every time. Icy moon. What do we have on this icy moon? Flying pancakes. Unknown building. I bet it'll be literally anything other than a trading post. I mean, it is literally something other than a trading post, but you can sell stuff there. Uh, in between episodes, I did have a little fly around and find several trading posts on one of these planets or moons. But I forgot which one, and it's not necessarily as easy to find one when you really need it. Now the next place offers me somewhere to land. I'll land. 
Whoa, that is a big pancake. Another unknown building. Come on, trading post. I want me a trading post. I might see Moldon flying kind of up and away, but get close to space, you can go faster. Meaning, I have no idea where this is, I might have overshot it. That was clever of me. Be a training post. You know you want to. Ow! What in the goddamn heck? I crashed into air. Oh, this barely qualifies as a building. That looks like a trading post that hasn't loaded in. There we go. Well, that was a bit odd. What's my shadow doesn't have wings? Maybe the real wings with friends we made along the way. First contact. It's powerful slow and the sentinels are in force. I don't know what that means. What is it they're in force? Right, I know that I need a metal plating. Uh or a save button. I don't know that I need. No, go away. Help. Another son of a quark. Uh, I'll tell you what, these always give me rusted metal. That's good for some ferrite dust. That support gel, I'll use that. How much do I need for a metal plating? Fifty. <sighs> I need one more. That'll be something made out of ferrite. There we go. There we don't go. Black and white, grey and red. When have I ever gone for grey and red? Just so having a little look around at it. Attention, 
Well, is there anything I need to sell now? So it's data. I think that's from my base. Well, I can't find to explore. Let's explore. Dioxide, copper, biotechnology module, heteropamploid wheat, humming sack. Is humming sack what I think it is? Could be album and bells. Oh, life support. That seems like a job for life support gel. Frost water. No, that's valuable. Further birdage. I love watching all the ships come and go from the trading post. Now then, frostwort. Man, it really wants me to return to my base. I'm not doing it this episode. I've just got to this sound system. So I'm not doing it. What else is there? Making discoveries. Uh, feeding and taming creatures. All creatures will eat creature pellets. Creatures can be fed directly or feed the creatures section of the quick menu. Baits thrown from the quick menu may placate predators or other angry creatures, unlike new farming or traversal opportunities. Feeding a creature will gain them trust that allows and allows them to be mounted or farmed. A tame creature can also be adopted as your companion. Animal companions offer a range of friendship and traversal opportunities. Manage your companions via the quick menu. Take good care of your companion and they may lay eggs. Allowing the breeding of a new generation of unique creatures. Eggs can be exchanged with other travellers. The egg sequencer on the space anomaly allows for genetic modification, opening the doors for the infinite potential of life. Ha! Huh. And Devil It Phrases. I'm not reading all that right now. But it may take me to one. Do I finish scanning that? You know what, there's plenty of time to scan things. I'm freezing my booty off right now. Condensed carbon, probably comes in handy.
So I know what I want for the end of the series. It's probably going to be expensive. So I should focus on trying to make money. Ancient data structure. Might be worth something. Uh, navigation data. That's all it gives me. A navigation data. One navigation data. I've come across these before, and I think they're more impressive. I've scanned everything here. And let's scan that. Mining the snappy snappy plant has annoyed the sentinels. Why does it say unidentified plant when I've identified the plant? Frost what? I was just thinking something valuable. I know that is. The cold planets and moons aren't always the most interesting. So I'm glad I got it out of the way early in the series. Two one thing seems to know. Building a base, I always do it in like the last episode. Why wait? I sell my frost wart. Make room. Uh, sell. Navigation data. Then. Yeah, just the frost wart. Since I've already got this place marked out, why not find somewhere else that's interesting to put my base? Is it always day on this planet? moon. Uh, some sort of building here. Guess it looks functional. Two up on the subject of planets. Where is the planet? I want a good view. Also, does this serve a system of two suns? No, it doesn't have two. I was going to say, no, it doesn't have two, it is three. That's a lens flare. Well, there's the moon.
There's the planet. No, go over there. Go over there. Up. Ah, oh, nuts. I know how to land. I suppose going into the atmosphere avoids them these days. Great. Oh, the planet's right above me. Uh, I'm gonna go further away then. I want a good view of it. Oh, you brought a friend. How nice. Ah, uh, this way. I want to see the planet on the horizon. Right, what's this on land building? There's another building there. We need somewhere to land. Or yeah, there's a landing thing right there. Yeah, it puts my ship down anywhere but. It's still up there, though. Did want it close to the horizon. Well, there's a knowledge stone over there. What I'm really going to need is copper. Get word for trade. Perhaps that's how I can get some. Dioxide deposit. Damage machinery. Copper deposit! Right, it seems weird digging a big trench, but I need silicate powder to power this thing. I need 50 chromatic metal, I don't know how much copper that is. Okay, that's bound to be enough. Need more carbon. Mining beam. Another five plant. We search because it's trying to pick up frost crystal. No, 
Oh, there's no free spots in my suit inventory. Manipulator needs stuff. I'll give it some ferret dust as well. Really? Still not full? And then if I plant... Okay, mm. refiner, take the right dust out of there, and put copper in. A bit further away from the building. How close to the ground is this big pancake? That one seems closer. Not very close to the ground at all, but I could go beneath it. Against me? What the heck, man? So he just took down the shield. Base computer. Oh, only thirty. Some cartographic archives. No power claims. Claim base. normal wall of wood. Looks like I haven't loaded in. Running low on oxygen, yes. Nice. 
Well, a lot of stuff doesn't now want to load in. Gives you a lot of the planets, though. You like to better view that one. Did pilot. Not something I expected today. Yeah, shit definitely looks better from that side. Tendon Nasep. Jin friend Obrafrimid Nip Special Trade. Ooh. Uh, to trade, I think to sell more diet, got all the chromatic mess I made. Uh, my ship's too far away. Have to have module infra knife, neutron cannon, cyclotron. So, this is all. I gather. No, that's all for my ship. I need something for here, down on the ground. That ship was blue a second ago. I'm sure of it. I guess it's kind of blue from this side. Got the Hawk of Truth. Ah, oh, that's a starship name right there. I still haven't given mine a name. I can't find my ship. I legitimately cannot find. I think it's a building this way. And my ship was part of that building, so that's as good a guess as any. Legitimately cannot find my ship. Oh, over there. So this is a different building. Well, in any case, it's a place to save my game, which means it's the perfect time to end this episode of Jake by Salmon Sky Survival. Thank you for watching the extended edition of Jake Player's No Man's Sky Survival. Remember to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, check the rest of the episodes out, and I will catch you later.